today we are going to review characterization. Characterization is a literary device that is used step by step in literature to highlight and explain the details about a character in a story. There are several different character types that can be applied to characters within a story. We have the protagonist, antagonist, round, flat, static, and dynamic character types. Today we're going to review all six of these and apply them to the Harry Potter series. The protagonist. The protagonist is the central person in the story. The protagonist is often the main character. He or she or they is often faced with a conflict that he or she or they must overcome. The protagonist usually gains the interest, empathy, and trust of the reader. Because the protagonist is the central person in the story, and because they usually gain our interest and our empathy and our trust, the protagonist is often thought to be the good guy within the story. In Harry Potter, the protagonist is Harry. We know the most about Harry because he is the central person in the story. He has an over he has a conflict that he has to overcome. And through the story, as we learn more about him, he definitely gains our interest, he gains our empathy, and he gains our trust. The antagonist is the opposition of the protagonist. He or she or it is often thought to be the bad guy. The antagonist presents an obstacle or conflict that the protagonist must overcome. So again, the antagonist is the bad guy within the story. In Harry Potter, the antagonist is he who must not be named or Lord Voldemort. Lord Voldemort is the person who creates the conflict that Harry has to overcome in each uh, book in the series. Then we have round characters. A round character is complex and conflicted. Typically, a round character develops over the course of the narrative and experiences changes. Because a round character is complex and conflicted, and we see the changes that he or she goes through, the around character is typically a main character within the story. So a good example of a round character in Harry Potter um, is Harry, and then we also have Professor Snape. So Harry is a round character because from the very beginning of the series till the end, we see how complex and conflicted Harry is. He didn't know that he was a wizard. Then he found out that he was a wizard. And throughout his time there, he learns more and more about himself and his past. He learns why his parents were murdered. He learns why he can speak to snakes. He learns about how he has to be the one to beat Lord Voldemort. So he changes over the course of the text and he's complex and conflicted. Professor Snape is also another example of a round character. What we know about Snape changes over the course of the text. From the beginning of the series, we learn that he doesn't like Harry. And then by the end of the story, we learn that he tries to constantly save Harry because of his love for his mother. So Snape is very complex and he's very conflicted. The reasons and his motivations for helping Harry stems from a past that is hard to understand, making him very complex. A flat character is ca only characterized by one or two personality traits. Their personality could be summarized in one or two sentences. A good example is Argus Filch. In the Harry Potter series, Argus Filch is the caretaker and he's very grumpy. And those are the two sentences that you need to be able to understand his character. A static character does not undergo change, but stays exactly the same. This character could, could be a good guy or a bad guy. We have an example of both. In Harry Potter, a good example of a good static character is Professor McGonagall. She uh, is the transfiguration professor, and she's constantly strict, caring, and a source of stability within the story. So her personality stays the same. She doesn't undergo change. She is already the good person in the story, the good constant that Harry and the students need. A negative example of a static character is Professor Unbridge. She comes into Hogwarts as a bad character and she leaves Hogwarts as a bad character. She's a constant source of stress and um, power. And then we have a dynamic character. A dynamic character is a person who changes over time, typically due to facing a conflict or a crisis. This type of change is apparent in his or her personality, showing development or transformation in the character. 
A great example of a dynamic character is Neville Longbottom. In the series, we begin and see Neville as a very timid and self-conscious character who doesn't have any confidence. He's constantly put down by his grandmother and the, the professors at Hogwarts because they see his lack of confidence and never boost his self-esteem. But by the end of the story, when Harry leaves, Neville takes the opportunity to uh, become a leader. He becomes more confident in his abilities, and he goes through a noticeable change. And we will end our presentation here.